Hello, I'm Joe Wren. A development that would bring more than 4,200 homes to Bloomington Southwest Side is moving forward. The city's plan commission gave a positive recommendation on the Summit District project last night. The current housing system favors property owners, excluding from this conversation the voice of those who are seeking housing. The power differential is at the heart of our housing crisis. Residents who live near the proposed development site largely oppose it. Its recommendation will be considered later by the City Council, which will have the final vote. State Senator Jean Bro has died. Bro has been dealing with an infection that caused her to miss the entire 2024 legislative session. The Indianapolis lawmaker served in the Senate for nearly 18 years. In her final statement earlier this week, she expressed pride in her work to improve black infant and maternal mortality and access to healthy food in food deserts and reproductive justice. A new lawsuit by Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita alleges seven companies conspired to raise insulin prices by 1,000 percent in the last decade. The main goal here, though, is to change behavior and, and keep these prices from escalating. That may actually force them to be more reflective of the actual cost uh, going forward. A vial of insulin can cost pharmaceutical companies just a few dollars to produce, but the cost to patients can be between $300 and $700, according to Rokita. The pricing of insulin has led some patients to ration their medication or not take it at all. Quick check of the forecast tonight. Mostly clear, lows down to 25 degrees in the five-day forecast. Mostly sunny tomorrow, 47. Rain on Friday, mostly sunny on Saturday. Highs up to 48 degrees. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUNews.org. Have a great evening.